Do you have an argon monitor and you're thinking about getting an Apple Studio? Or maybe you have an Apple Studio and you're thinking about getting an argon monitor. Well, guess what? That was my dog <laughs> making noises. It's going to take a special cable. And I know this because I figured it out so you don't have to. In 2010, I started using Apple products. And in 2013, I got my first 27 inch iMac and I put a 27 inch Thunderbolt monitor next to it. And I loved it. That was the setup that I used all the way until very recently. But I've been watching all the same videos you've been watching, right? And so then Apple came out with, boom, the Apple Studio. Had to have it. It was a great time for me to go ahead and upgrade the office. I'm, I'm changing it into a studio. We're, we're, we're not there, we're on our way. Right, it's coming together. But that was an important part of it. And I ended up getting the, uh, uh, I did upgrade it a little bit. I did the two terabyte uh, hard drive, still run off the 32 gig. Um, I think I did do the 32 core processor. Can't remember why, doesn't matter. I have it, it's here. And I ended up uh, getting um, an Agon 49 inch monitor. It's the AG 493 UCX one. And the reason being is because I can run the 5120 by 1440 aspect ratio that I had off the same setup that I had before, all in one monitor. Now it's a gaming monitor, I'm not a gamer, right? But it had the aspect ratio that I wanted, plus it's a little bit taller than the other ones. I think the other ones were like 21.9 and this one was like 32.9. So it's literally like me having two of the 27 inch monitors side by side. One of the things about the Apple Studio is that it can connect to multiple monitors. I think it connect to like six. I mean, I'm, I don't need that many, right? I have the 55-inch uh, uh, Sony TV behind me connected as a monitor. And then I have the, uh, the, the Aegon monitor connected. But you can't use the cables that come with this monitor for the Apple Studio. You can't. You end up having to get a Thunderbolt to display cable to make it work and it has to be like a certain kind i'm going to attach it right here so that you can see what i'm talking about i'm also going to leave a link in the description so that you can get one yourself if you're thinking about what am i going to need to make this thing work and i'm going to show you i'm going to show you the difference right here all right i pulled up uh, displays in in the preferences in the system preferences and so i'm going to unhook this 20 inch here or the, the 55 inch through this HDMI port. That's how I had it connected. Cause I don't want it, I don't want it just bouncing over to that one. Okay, here we go with this one. Now we're at the 5120 by 144. The question is, can we still get that without having to use the Thunderbolt to display cable? Now we're just running a straight Thunderbolt cable into this. And let's see if we can scale it. See, look, it's only gonna give us 3840 to 1080. If you want the 5120 by 1440, right now just plugging it in to, um, with a Thunderbolt cable is not going to work. Well, let's see if HDMI gets any better. That's, that's really bad. 3840 again. So the only way that you're going to be able to run this monitor off of your Apple Studio is to get a Thunderbolt to display cable. All right, got it plugged back in the way it should be. And now we're back to 5120 by 1440. In case you were wondering, now you know. I hope you got something out of this video because I know that I had these questions and I figured I'd just go ahead and, and answer them. Um, so if you do have any other questions, go ahead and uh, ask it down below. And um, if you found something from this, go ahead and like and subscribe or, you know, don't, it's up to you. I can't control what you do. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.